time after time, you're going to meet guys who are a lot tougher than you. Years ago, the Muhammad Ali days, I would have went wild trying to get that knockout shot. But I got a little older and wiser now, so I took my time and realized I got a good left jab. Why not use it? I'm winning. You had him hurt in an early round, and I saw you turn to the referee. Did you ask the referee to stop the fight? I really did, and there's something going to have to be done with the referees. At what expense do they take these guys' lives into their hands? And I mean, it. so they're going to have to do something. Why he didn't stop that fight and let the guy go on and on and get beat and knocked down again is strange. Why? I'm a puncher. I'm not a boxer. I can, at any time, I can execute a guy with my fist. It just so happens that I'm in shape and I can't hold back. But these referees are going to have to do something. Something's going to have to be done. Tommy Morrison, what did you think of Morrison in his fight? I felt like when I saw Tommy Morrison, I mean, it, it's the way when the people saw the first Frankenstein movie. <laughs> that big monster jumped up, and you just don't want to fight him. Tommy Morrison is too dangerous for George Foreman. I want his brother, somebody who can't fight. I want Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman. We want Pee Wee. But Tommy Morrison is a dangerous young man. He used to get knocked down. That was the end of him. Now he gets up and wait later on. I don't want no part of that monster. All right, there are, there are now officially two heavyweight champions out there. Will you fight either one? I would prefer the one in England because he haven't turned me down yet. I mean, he did not make a verbal agreement with me and back out. So what's his name? Lennox Lewis. I really would like him. Lennox Lewis. Forget Riddick Bowe. He's on some kind of uh, trip. And uh, he's not a baby boomer. He's like uh, he's one of those kids that uh, need a spanking. And you want to give the spanking to Lennox Lewis, however. Yeah, I would prefer Lennox Lewis. He's tall, and I think he's a, a bit more braver than the uh, Riddick Boy camp. Now, I'm not going to say Riddick Boy is not brave, but his manager is kind of scared of this old guy. I'm 45 years old, and I got those young fellas scared of me. That's strange. So you young, you old people, senior citizens out there, don't be scared of those gang members. The reason they group up and try to rob you, they scared of you because you're older than they are. We're going to get head rag. We're going to wrap around our head. We're going to get earrings in our ear, and we're going to terrorize the street. We're going to have those gang members go in. You saw what happened. George Foreman is back.